All right, what's going on, people? This is the bear here, and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna get right on down to it. It gotta be said, and uh, boy, oh boy, it's not looking good for the order 1886. It is not looking good at all. So let me tell you what I'm talking about here. Um, I'm looking at one of the reliable uh, reviewers on IGN.com. And they gave the game a 6.5, which is, to me, below average. Anything below a 7 is below average. And a 6.5 is, is there. An overhyped game with that low of a rating is bad. Okay? So, um, let me read this article here um, from IGN.com out of... I'll, I'll uh, make, you know, you have the link down in the description and it'll tell you everything, you know, it'll, it'll show the video on how the game did and whatnot. Okay, so <clears throat> it says the highlight of the uh, review says the struggle within. Uh, it was February 19th, uh, 2015. This is when the review uh, reviewed on PlayStation 4. February 19, 2015. Okay, so it says, Though absolutely gorgeous and wonderfully uh, as asmeratic, as the Order 1886 is a deeply conflict conflicted thing, even more than its secret battle against the monsters of legend. The Order's greatest struggle is ultimately its own inter uh, intero internal tug of war between telling a beautifully presented story and granting the level of interactivity we come to expect from a game. In the end, a lopsided commitment uh, commitment is to, to perfecting style and plot comes at the cost of sluggish pacing a look but don't touch world and paint by numbers gameplay. Okay, it also says uh, on the surface the uh, approach pays off. The order is thick and exquisitely detailed environments that showcase the grand opulence of London built atop poverty stricken slums. It's populated by characters that are generally well developed, motivated, and believable. And there's a, a concerted effort to extend the fantastic polish into a seamless experience, merging gameplay with its mainly lengthy cutscenes as it delivers a generally good historic fantasy story. Okay, then it goes on. It's seven hours uh, in developer, re uh, ready at dawn's alternate version of London. I rubbed elbows with historic figures like legendary inventor Nikola Tesla, who serves as the Order's gadget guy. His involvement also for fantastic Victorian super weapons that never were. The, uh, the, and these are the weapons, the art gun the thermite rifle, and the bazooka-like shoulder cannon. I investigated the dealings of the famed East Indian Company and heard stories of a new serial killer called Jack the Ripper. And I did all, all this as the strong and reserved Sir Gall Gallahan, a member of the Order, the Victorian era incarnation of the Knights of the Round Table. By pulling these threads, from history, history and myth, the Order 1886 weaves an engaging and conf, um, convincing um, patchwork of historic fiction that I w want to spend time in. But I was generally, um, but I was generally surprised when the story abruptly ended, leaving multiple characters and secondary arcs dangling in the wind in an obvious sequel setup. It left me wanting to know what's next for this world. I'm not going to read the rest of it here because it's it's pretty long. But what I do want to mention 
is the the ratings for the order 1886 on Metacritic. Uh, okay, let me see. I gotta go back here. Uh, Meta. Uh, okay. Metacritic. Give me a second here. I'm just trying to go on here to this website so I can. Uh, there are a lot of people. Not only the um, the score of um, the uh, there were 56 critics that gave the whole average of the 56 critics gave the game a 65, which is below average. The user score to me is below average. The user so, uh, score of 596 ratings from uh, consumers who bought the game gave it a 5.8. And the ratings are still going up, but the the score it's it's still is getting lower, you know. Um, the critic reviews, uh, as far as the critic reviews, there are 21 positive, uh, 30 mixed, and uh, five uh, negatives. But on the user reviews, there are 83 positive, um, mixed of 15 and. 64 negatives and that just goes to show you know there are a lot of people who bought the game uh, give me a second give me a second that just goes to show that a lot of people who bought the game who have fell into the hype for the, the trailers of the game and whatnot is is very disappointing at the game. You know what I'm saying? Besides the one thing that single player games to me um, should be more than five hours. To me, it should be at least twenty dollars, uh, twenty hours. At least twenty hours. I'm not saying make it as long as Skyrim. That has over 150 hours easily. Now you don't have to make a game that long, but at least uh, 20 hours, uh, uh, you know, for a single player only game. You know what I'm saying? Um, something just came to my mind and didn't it just slip right like that. Uh, it doesn't have no kind of multiplayer, which I don't understand because. You know, for for six for a full retail price game to have a short um, amount of time of single player and with no multiplayer to be sixty dollars is to me a rip off. That's just going to show that a company is basically rushing a game and they're not taking the time what fans would expect from a game. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason why, especially if a game is polished. I'm, you know, this game here, I don't have a, a, a PlayStation, you know, I don't have a PlayStation 4 or nothing like that. But I read so much about this, this uh, game here. I just had to make this video because it's like, I've been seeing so, so, it's, Oh my goodness, YouTube has so many videos about this game. So many. I looked at so many videos. And then to come out when the when the the day that it comes out and for it to have such a low score is is crazy. That is just is it's bad by the publisher's part, by the developer's part, you know what I'm saying? To to um Make a game that you haven't really took the time to really, you know, implement more stuff that is needed. You know, I was looking on gameplay footage and the guy was shooting a gun at this creature and he was just soaking it up. The creature was just soaking the bullets. There was no damage done to the creature. He had to empty out a whole, almost a whole clip on the guy, on the, on the creature. And the creature did not, you know, he was just soaking. He was still coming for him. And, I mean, these were shots, like, right to the body. 
I think it was something to the head, and it, it done nothing. You know, it was like one of those, uh, it was like watching, you know, like Resident Evil where, you know, someone's trying to shoot one of the zombies in the head and, you know, it takes like four or five shots in order to, I mean, they was just soaking up the bullets, you know. And I, I know there was another game that um, you could be shooting a bunch of bad guys and, they, and, and you know, and they'll just soak up bullets like it's nothing. It takes two clips to knock them out, you know. So, uh, this is pretty bad. The Order 1886 to have such a low, met, the meta score of a 65 and the user score of 5.8 is, is pretty horrible. Especially the user score, which matters the most because the consumers are the ones. If your game is bad, if your product is bad, you best to believe somebody's going to come on your forums and they are going to say something. Especially for a full retail price game. You shouldn't have made it full retail price first of all. Because once you're done playing the game, all you have left is to up the difficulty and play it again. That's all you have. You know what I'm saying? And maybe, you know, the higher the difficulty, the, the, um, the more, uh, you know... The more that you can play out of it, you know what I'm saying, play the game out, you know, the leniency or whatever you want to call it. I guess, yeah, the higher difficulty, the more leniency that, you know, uh, the game will have. But it's still, you're still playing a single player game. You know what I'm saying? How many times can you beat the game, play it over again, beat the game, play it over again, especially when it's painfully average? When it's an average game, you know, it's not really that good. Uh, IGN, I looked at the IGN reviews and they were saying that how the game, you know, is gorgeous and all. And, you know, the environment is very, very, um, you know, detailed and all. But when it comes to the gameplay, it's just an average game. It's not really that good. And, you know... Um, for a 6.5, the meta score gave it a 65. You know, it's on par with the with the meta score um, review, basically. You know what I'm saying? They gave it 65. IG a 6.5. User scores gave it a 5.8. And like I said before, the user scores to me matters the most. It is what the fans, it is what the gamers that have played the game um, what their experience is, and that is what matters. So, wow, a six point five. You can look at it. You can look uh, down below in the description. I will leave a link, and you can read it all for yourself from the Metacritic and the IG and the IGN uh, reviews. That is just terrible, and you know what? The developers of this game should really be ashamed of themselves, especially for not, I mean, you know, you don't want to put a half-assed multiplayer, but, you know, a multiplayer might have helped it out a bit. Seriously, you know. Even though when it comes to uh, multiplayer, you got to lower the resolution, so that's always a problem, but 6.5, people, it is what it is. Alright, it's the bear and I'm out. Peace.